So the Beats Solo 2 are the latest star headphones from Beats. Now some people call them studio minis because of the look and that studio feel. Uh, but these are new headphones that uh, fit the Beat Monkey and style. Priced at $199, so sub $200 headphones. And you've got uh, the similar Beat styling with the plastic uh, build all around very shiny this is actually the glossy gray it's got detachable um, um, mic port as you can see here um, with the beach logo on each side there now this has an inline mic uh, with uh, iOS controls so you can actually control the iOS devices and the call qual quality from that is actually pretty good fairly extensive cable in terms of length uh, altogether uh, now uh, we also do have a soft carry case here that uh, Beats provides the Beats logo very nice and simple you can easily tuck your headphones in there just fold them up uh, as you can see they're quite retractable and slide them into the case and you're on your way which is nice and which is very very good uh, the other aspect to these headphones are also just some of the comfort and styling uh, you can see the air cups do tilt and, and they have soft padding around uh, which should give you a comfortable feel and I say should I stress that top headband also has uh, soft padding there um, all together so you get a very good general idea of how it feels now that glossy plastic uh, coating is very standard with Beats and you know the Beats logo on the very top um, but overall I do like the general design look of these headsets altogether I think they've done a very good job there with that now when it comes to fit on the ears you can see how they look on my ears there uh, but I can tell you these things are not that comfortable for some weird reason on your headphones uh, uh, the solo twos I can't wear them for more than say three hours or so and I really notice them but um, you know they will fit on your ears it's just that the comfort level doesn't last that long so talking about the sound of the Beats by Dre uh, Beats solo 2 or Beats by Dre solo 2 um, there are a couple of things to bring into question now first of all Beats has continued to improve uh, the sound quality especially with that extra bass to keep throwing in there i don't know why but it's still very high so one of the things that um uh that i don't like about these headphones is the fact that the bass is still very empowering especially when i am trying to listen to something you know that isn't as bass heavy but it feels like it's throwing a lot of bass in and then when i'm listening to songs that have a lot of bass it just feels like the eqs are totally cranked up which is something i don't like now on the on the good side though the the highs the lows they really they really hit off pretty well and you get a very good a good range with the highs and lows so especially on your acoustics when you're listening and you want to hear the vocals you get that part very well but the problem is because of the overpowering bass you can't hear anything else so basically your mids are gone your troubles are gone and not necessarily gone but you really can't hear them so you can't hear those different instruments left and right uh, that you get with normal headphones now the other good plus too with this is the uh, the microphone here so the call entry mic works very well of course uh, this has the um, um, I, um, I device uh, tuning so it works well I devices but in terms of just answering phone calls and taking calls it does it they do actually do a good job there so I do like that aspect of it you do have the carrying case here which is nice soft uh, I do I like that inclusion but overall these are pair headphones that I think again beats are still overpriced at 199 it's more of a fashion statement and it's more of a wearing statement so a lot of people will look to that now in terms of comfort before I forget um, these are not that comfortable which is kind of weird because usually with Beats headphones uh, that I've used in the past they were comfortable that's one of the main areas at least they, they notched on so uh, these are on your headphones and they rest on your ear but the problem is that as they rest on your ears uh, after about maybe about three hours or so like I just found myself like fidgeting and trying to reposition them so it feels like even though I, I wish they'd use maybe more memory foam here to melt just so you shape on your ear rather than the soft foaming that they use because it just feels like it pinches so um, on that aspect you know it's 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 it doesn't hit the mark especially just for beats quality because I know that their ear cups are usually very comfortable and easy to use so overall um, are these headsets that will go on the wall no well, a couple of things there is because for, for pricing at $199, um, they are also comparable headsets that I that can find on the wall that are that price or cheaper that do a much better job in comfort and sound. But overall, these are still a good 
good pair of headphones. They are more of a fashion statement headphones. If you want something as stylish, you can see the color that I'm wearing there. It's very different, it's very stylish. And also you want something that gives you just a lot of bass. These are the headphones for you to definitely pick up. So if you guys have any questions or any comments about the Beat Solo 2, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and favorite this video. And guys, do subscribe to the channel, top right-hand corner of your screen or down in the description below. We appreciate all the subscriptions. We like you guys commenting. And this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.